Hey knockouts, so his hair was previously straightened a couple weeks ago, so I'm about to go ahead and shampoo and condition his hair. So I also did a deep condition treatment on his hair just to make sure it's nice and hydrated. So now I'm taking this comb. This is a locking comb for, you know, locks. And then this is avocado oil. And those are the only things that I've used and water. So now I'm rubbing in this oil throughout his hair. And I will be adding oil to each separate section as I go just to make sure I get you know them roots good and stuff so now when it comes to parting his hair for the individual lock I'm really just eyeing the the part I know sometimes it looks like I'm being a, a perfectionist going over small little portions. Um, I don't know, it's just a habit, but really it doesn't have to be extremely neat and I usually stagger the parting. So every time you make a section, you want to comb out each piece or else the comb is not going to grow through the hair and especially with curly hair anyways y'all already know no matter how much you comb it out sometimes it just starts to coil over each other so yeah so now I'm about to take that end of the comb right there that one mm -hmm. make sure I get onto the root as close to the root as possible okay So I do like flat and then I twist it and I move the hair in the direction that I am spinning the comb just to try to get it all, you know, on one accord. So I do it again and I zoom in this time just so you can see how I'm working the comb on the root part. And then so you just continue to twist and pull you're pulling the comb as you twist but I also grab the root of the lock because I know it can be a little discomfort um, because it is pulling the hair so I try to pinch it whenever I pull and again I'm zooming in to show y'all exactly what I do after you see it this way so just be prepared for the replay. So you see that it's kind of a little stuck. So I just continue to twist and pull. And sometimes you just have to readjust the comb a little. And it eventually makes its way through. But when I pull, I make sure to pinch the lock to limit the amount of discomfort that it's causing. And then you continue to just pull and twist, pull and twist, pull and twist. And also when you do this, sometimes the comb comes out, especially depending on the length of the hair that you're starting the locks with. Do not be like, oh my gosh, I just messed it up. I got to start all over. No, I just insert that comb back up in there and keep going just like this. See that? Them ends and I'm just going to keep twisting and combing that's pretty much what you're doing is you you just twisting and combing it until it creates a coil and then you want to make sure you take a clip and just hold it in place um, by the root I do this so when it dries, it dries good. Then some people say, well, how do I know what parting, how big the parting? You could do this, take a picture and show them, see if they feel good about it. And you know, you just wait for that head knot right there, right there, yeah, and then keep going. And don't worry either, the lock look extremely thin, but it will start budding and growing and actually start 
forming the lock within the you know little coil right there so over time it gets thicker so don't worry like oh my god <laughs> no don't worry about that So again I am parting and I'm just showing y'all I don't really I don't know I just try to take a decent amount of hair because he doesn't like his to be super thin but he doesn't want them to be super big either so I try to find a happy medium and I'm trying to take my time on these ones to show you all exactly how to do it because it has been requested and I want to make sure, you know, y'all want to try this. It's really easy. And then here I have more oil that I'm adding to it and just continuing it to comb it out. So again, you're gonna take that same approach to the roots and twist it. It's really easy when it doesn't get stuck, but sometimes it does, but this one, it didn't. It went really smooth. And you can see I'm rubbing my fingers together to kind of help move the lock. And then again, when that comb comes out, just keep inserting it all the way through the end. Cause sometimes you have to do this because the hair starts to get a little tangled so it's almost like you have to comb it out as you go throughout the lock. You definitely want to make sure you have enough tension between your fingers when you're pinching the hair just to try to get rid of some of that tension that you could be causing on their scalp from the constant pulling. And then again, I'm showing y'all how close I'm getting to them roots with the clip. Now, I have a water bottle also handy um, because as you go, you want to make sure you're keeping the hair nice and moist because it just makes the process a lot easier and now I'm going to do this front piece because every piece in the front I do to I lock it going towards the back so that way his hair is going towards the back to try to help prevent it from flipping all over the place because yeah that's his preference And as you see, this section in the front kind of look a little bit bigger than the sections that I took in the back because the front of his hair is thinner. So I took bigger sections because I realized the last time I locked his hair that the front was a little bit thinner because I took the same section as I did as the back and not really paying attention to the fact that his hair was thinner in the front. So that's why if the parting looks a little bit, just a little bit bigger, it is. And yes, he had locks before. I know y'all probably like, wait, what? Um, I took them out. I cut off the color, the tips on his locks. I cut it out and then I took his locks out and gave him some time without the locks did a lot of deep conditioning treatments and his hair is back to a healthy state and he wanted to give locks another try this time without color because that is obviously not my strong suit you know I, I definitely will be working on that myself and this is the finished look this is I have to you know let his hair dry I set him under the dryer the hooded dryer for 30 minutes and 
After that, took the locks out, I mean the clips out, and he was good to go. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. See ya.